Relationships come with sacrifices. And for many of us, these sacrifices mean completely and unequivocally giving up our wants and needs so that someone else can have their own way. Today, I'm at La Brioche to meet with three lovely people who might be chatting with and picking their brains to know their ideas on sacrifices and compromises in relationships, and obviously so much more. My name is Bisola Ayola, and this is a brand new episode of Real Talk. Thanks so much, guys, for being here. Uh, and as you know, we're going to be talking about sacrifices in relationships. But first, let me start with Okbe. Mm. Are you in a relationship? <laughs> so like, why me now? I'm just asking. No. No, you're not. So not have, yet. Have you, have you been in a relationship? Yes, I have. All right. Adams, are you in a relationship? <laughs> gay, gay. <laughs> Good. Adams, are you in a relationship? I'm just asking. I want to know. We know Samuel is married. Yes. Mm -hmm. Samuel is the is the oh, poster please. boy Power for couple. yes oh, for please. perfect couple goals. No, please. I'm not even what is couple goals. Ah, oh wow, wow. Well, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't know how many of us are looking up to go. Ah, one day, <laughs> one day. So, 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 Adams, are you in a relationship? Sometimes. So, <laughs> so sometimes. So I'm going to start with you, Adams. What is your idea of sacrifices or sacrificing in a relationship? I think, um, generally. We have to always sacrifice. Nothing is nothing is easy to even hang out. To be able to make a typical hangout, I would rather play FIFA than hang out with your friends. I'm just saying generally. Generally, just to even go out, step okay. out of the house, yeah, trying to okay. get dressed. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm just. So it's important. General, I prioritize things. Okay. Um, but in terms of sacrificing in a relationship now, my ideology, uh, my ideas around that would be would mean. Um, putting the next person first. Okay. Samuel, you've been in this for how many years now? Um, total four. Four years. You show us. You make us long for such. I just... I Are just, you, 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 I just, just, you just... Yeah, it's natural to you, so you just see it as, ah, it's like me breathing yeah, in oxygen. It's, it's, there. it's normal. Is there any cap to sacrificing? Um, first of all, I would like to point out that I'm not a relationship expert. <laughs> no, you're not. And, you're from your and my view. views yes. and my views and my views. Um, to be honest, when I literally was about to, you know, get into a relationship that would actually lead to marriage, one of the major things I wanted for myself was to have someone that gave wholly of themselves as much as I did. Right. And in the past, it was always skewed towards me giving like a hundred percent. When you're with someone that, and it's meant to be forever, you know, there are no limits or no um, cap to how much you should actually do give. When I finally, you know, got the person that, you know, pretty, pretty much just reflected that sort of thing that I wanted, it was quite easy for me not to think about the limitations, like the cap, oh, I meant to stop, I meant to, I, we will not lie to you, like being in relationships where they've served you breakfast comes with its PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> and it's easy for you to say, ah, I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to do that. And that was me all through, you know, when I was single and just, you know, roaming around the labor market. <laughs> there was a whole lot of cap, you know, there was a whole lot of cap, oh, uh, I hold myself because that's me, I'm that sort of person that if I want to give, I go all out. You don't have a problem or an issue with giving yourself 100%, yes. sacrificing yourself 100% yes. and your partner. When you say sacrifice, it sounds like it's hey, but yeah, but from, that's, that's can I even, can I even? <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's the main issue here, sacrificing, you know, going out of your way, you know, giving up things you actually love. And sometimes it may come off as a bit selfish from the other person, knowing that, okay, for you in, in this instance, you, you, you give yourself 100, uh, you give 100% of yourself. I'm not saying that your wife would do this, but just an example for individuals who give themselves 
100, uh, give their partners 100%. And the other person knows and is like, mm, I know that if I tell him this and I push this button, I push that button, he's going to give me all of him. Isn't it selfish when the other person isn't giving? Yeah, that's why when it comes to this kind of decision, see, I will not lie to you. Even when I was getting 100% from my partner, there was always that thing behind my mind where I'll think I'm like, hmm, is there any breakfast that I'm preparing by the side, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and will this wear off? Because, you know, initially, it actually, I will not lie to you. Initially, it felt quite too good. And there was a time where I was actually self sabotaging. I was like, do you know what? I, I don't yeah. like what is happening because I'm like, I, I've seen this movie before. If you get the most slightest of hints that the person you're with or the person that you plan on spending the rest of your life with has no intention whatsoever on giving you 100% or you feel there's a bit of manipulation, because we always see all these red flags. It's oh, literally yeah, always yeah. there. Yeah. Whether the most subtle, subtle way or however that looks like or whether you're, people are like, hmm, this feels quite one way or more. Jaguar. Jaguar. Mm. <laughs> okay, you are not in a relationship. VJ Adams is sometimes in one. We know he's permanently in one. Mm -hmm. So you being sometimes in, uh, no, him being sometimes, you not being in a relationship at all. Could it be that not giving yourself, not sacrificing enough was one of the factors, either for you or for the guy? I think every relationship is different. And I feel like people should just do what works best for them for them of course i think everybody is mm -hmm. at some point in a relationship if you like this person definitely mm -hmm. let me tell you my let me not say my last relationship because <laughs> this is probably what you <laughs> a relationship i was in um i was in school at that time and this person said i studied creative arts and this person said i don't really like creative arts you know it's not a professional course mm -hmm. when you finish i want you to study medicine and i'm like Okay, good. My dad, let's pay my school fees. Mm -hmm. So what, what am I going to tell him? Like, the fact that I was even considering that, I can't stand blood. Mm. I would never, ever go into medicine, never. Injections, like, the fact that I was considering even leaving creative arts, that, okay, let me just finish this degree. And then I start all over, at what age? <clears throat> start medicine. I mean, it's not, too, it's not bad to start all over. Mm. So I feel like at some point, everyone must have sacrificed something in their relationship. If you like someone, that's not how you don't sacrifice, except you're there for the wrong reasons. But you considered going for medicine. So you were willing to sacrifice and yeah. give up all of it. What now happened? What, what changed your mind? The Holy Spirit arrested me. <laughs> the Holy Spirit arrested me. I think in any relationship, friendship, mother, daughter, mother, father, son, Sorry. there is some level of entitlement. Now with that entitlement, does it not come with... I think there's a level, a level of, of responsibility. I would, I would prefer a level of responsibility. Like if I'm your brother, mm -hmm. I'm responsible for you on certain levels. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say I'm entitled to certain things from you. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how I would see it on every level. So I'm responsible for my spouse, for my girlfriend or my wife or whoever it is. I don't feel entitled to anything from them. So you have the school of thought that sacrifices should not be reciprocated? It's not compulsory. I don't think it's compulsory. Do you think it would be great to have um, it reciprocated? So hmm. across um, board. No, I sorry, feel, sorry. Okay. For context sake, are we narrowing down to spouse or no, generally? Relationships. Well, relationships. Yes. I feel well, yes, I relationships. Feel relationships. Um, spouse, friends, whatever that looks like, even business relationships, mm -hmm. is a very sensitive thing. And, you know, that's why making a very important choice on who you consider f friends, friends. Yeah. or who you consider a spouse is quite very, very, very crucial. Because um, naturally, that comes with giving of yourself all the time. And I told someone, I said I'm in a stage where I gave without actually expecting. But like every other person with their human nature, you know, it's you, you give and give, you expect to actually receive that same sort of energy. Right. It's in my nature to give. Like I love, I just love being there for my friends. And in the past, I really did get this energy back. And, but it took me a while. And 
And that's the thing. Initially, it was quite heartbreaking. I used to feel bad. I'd be like, ah, I turned up for this person, blah, 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 and all that. And I just realized that expectations actually hurt me more than the act of actually me giving. So I had to manage my expectations. It's my nature to be good. Absolutely. It's my nature to do all that sort of thing. I'm not going to change because you are difficult. Not return there are a whole of external factors. It could be upbringing. A lot of people have really horrible upbringing. Like for me, it's, imagine if you grew up in a family where you had 12 siblings and everybody was rushing, you know, yeah. played. Meat can be quite personal to you. Why didn't you leave me for me? That sort of thing. Or you grow up in a family. Or if you grow up in a family where you have to eat meat at the end of every meal, you feel that's kind of like a love language. That's a love symbol. Or you grow up in a family where you know the way that show love to their kids is ah nah, come here, come and eat this small meat at the end of every meal. That that sort of like it's quite endearing to you. And a lot of people carry these small nuances into their relationship. You know, and they're looking at you. I will not lie, there was a part of my life where if you touch my food, when, like, when we're eating, or more, we we'll remove clothes. Like, <laughs> like, why didn't you order your own food? When I was ordering my own, I asked you, okay, you would have ordered my own, you would have ordered what you wanted to order, order mine. I don't have a problem paying, but why do you want to eat from my own plate? Mm. Trust me, initially, the first, one year, that was, it was not a bone of contention. It was just kind of thing where I would be looking at my woman with one side of her, I'd be like, I don't understand this thing. But when I finally visited her home and met her parents, I understood it was something that they all did. It was kind of like how they shared things. And with time, I accommodated it. You know, now, yeah, you can put your hand in my food, all that sort of thing. Okay. What would you never ever sacrifice I mean. in a relationship? <laughs> <laughs> you see, um, I, I firmly believe in this saying, never say never. Mm. Because yeah. now you can say one thing and in the nearest future you see yeah. it. I saw a post and this person was, this person, I, I, I really can't remember how it went, but it was in the line of signing off her property mm. to her husband. So I, I don't think that's something I can do. Right. Properties, actually. I think she said she had about two houses. And then the man says, you have to put them in my name. Samuel, is that something you can do? No. <laughs> no. Um, in my marriage, outside of the fact that, I, you know, we're married, <laughs> um, we are still, we still retain our individuality. Like, we yeah. still exist. We have dreams. We have... Right you know, aspirations, all that thing we want to do. And if she takes her money and she goes out and buys her own property, it's her property. Mm -hmm. It's as simple yeah. as that. Yeah. If she on her own wheel says, baby, you know, I'm too much in love with you. This love is shocking my eye. <laughs> Let's put names together. It's beautiful. And, you know, that's why all the most important decisions we've ever made, we actually come, we've talked about it. We have serious conversations around it. Say, for instance, your wife wants to get something. You've probably had a conversation with her and you don't share the same ideas with her on getting that particular thing. And she just says, you know, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'll get it and afterwards I will tell him. Mm -hmm. And maybe she doesn't tell you. You find out mm -hmm. yourself. Would you ever be put in that space where it's going to be, it's time for me to retaliate. I'm going to do something without her knowledge. So, mm. <laughs> that's why I see. That's why, okay, I, so I'm a big believer of outside of us having our money, people should have their money. At the end of the day, like, see, I don't want my wife to be 100% dependent on me. Let her have her money. There's a reason why we're working, whether we were married or we were, or we were not. People should own, have their money. And the reason why you have your money is that autonomous decision to say, do you know I've worked so hard and I want to get this sort of thing. Adam, what about you? I mean, I think I agree with uh, what he said. The, I only have a problem if you have outstanding things you need to do financially for yourself and you chose to do well, one of those like other things, things to you. and you now want to put the... No. Yeah, but I'm saying if... If you find out that she had done this without your knowledge, 
would you want to retaliate by doing something without her knowing? No, I'm thinking about it. I can't, I can't, I'm trying to think about that answer. I'm, I'm actually thinking about it. Like, so she took the money out of our joint exactly. account. Exactly. Mm, that would be a problem. Money, yeah. From our joint account. Where was her money? So I'm trying Where to is that money? Out. Yeah, if it's her money that she worked for. No, okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay, now, yes, it's her money. Yes. What's the biggest sacrifice you've ever, ever given to anybody? A partner? When you are sometimes in a relationship? That's a very good question. <laughs> Hmm. hmm. It's actually deep. Is it yes. deep question? Yeah. Yeah. It's not true. Yes. Okay, yes. Oh, okay. yes. Uh, uh, yes. Um, for me, it's marriage. I'm sorry? Yes. <laughs> I, I, to, I almost choked Bring on Bringing someone into my space right. and mm. saying this person is going to be with me for the rest of my life, it's yeah, a but, very big sacrifice. But you saying bringing someone into my space. And I don't mean a house. I mean, so you never you're, make, to get you're, you're almost making it sound as though you were convinced to get married, no, I not wasn't. that you wanted to. It's something that I said, okay, I am going to do this. For a lot of people, they feel sacrificing should actually be easy. See, I, I was single for a very long time. I met this person. I love this person. I felt, you know, head, he, you know, heels over this person. That's totally different. Saying, okay, I want to be with this person for the rest of my life is a totally different kettle of fish. Do you know what that is? That is saying whatever I know and I don't know of this person, I am willing to experience it. So for a lot of people, they don't see getting married to a total stranger. Siblings fight. They've been with each other for over 30 plus years. And I'm just meeting you for how many months? A few months or one year or two years. And then I'm saying, go wherever I'm feeling, I want to translate this feeling into permanency. Well, that is, that is, that, is that, that, that truly... From that angle, from that perception, from that angle, it, that, that's a lot of sacrifice. Lot. Okay, now you're married. I think. Uh, <laughs> don't let your wife catch you. <laughs> Ooh. Um, <laughs> Oh yeah, Bisola. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's actually her name. Uh, oh really? <laughs> oh. oh yes, Dr. Bisola, that's true. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen Game On. I really want oh, to hear, yeah. hear your own opinion. <laughs> I really want to hear your opinion on this. Um, so Game On is a show on Danny TV. Yeah. Uh, I want to talk about this particular couple, Saze and Tega. Tega hit a brick wall somehow in his business. He wasn't... Like his so car ran into his, a yeah. wall. <laughs> in his, his career, he wasn't making as much money. Contracts were not coming in. And he wanted to pay for um, service charge for their apartment that they live in. So he kept ask, asking his wife, eh, Sazi, how far now? Can you help to pay with this month's money? Oh, no, 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 she doesn't have any money. Eh, you sort it out, things like that. Like, it's his duty, it's his responsibility. But she had a ton of money. Yeah. And he was rummaging through her stuff one day found a wad of cash, took it, used it to buy laptop, <laughs> used it to buy things that he felt he needed for, for, the, for his business to grow. And when his wife confronted him, when she noticed that some money was missing, he's like, oh, he doesn't know anything. What money? Oh, you have money? Oh, wow. Eventually, he returned it. Right. Yeah. But I want to ask you now, <laughs> oh, but, mm -hmm. how do you feel? Or how would you feel? Mm. Say, for instance, your man okay. your partner mm -hmm. does this do you are you are you willing to tell him that okay honey that's my money you took i sacrifice it to you or it is his duty to hustle the hustle so what's your take first of all that? i would not do that my conscience won't even allow me uh -huh. but if it comes to that um if i get your question correct am i willing to sacrifice the money like yes. give him so she shouldn't return it yes yeah, I think so. Shame won't shame let me collect it back after you because he has from, caught me. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, so I'll just say, just take it. Just take it, but I was saving it for us. <laughs> oh, you would laugh about it. <laughs> I was saving it for us. <laughs> and as you call. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I, I would even be, I'm not that guy. You're not that guy? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Mm. I, I, I can't. So you me. don't believe in. You really cannot be me. You don't believe in my money is my money, your money is our money. No, so <laughs> I do. But. So the thing is, it depends on what angle I want to adopt. If I want to use traditional religion or what we possibly call the new social consciousness, because mm. tradition and religion have a firm 
standpoints regarding responsibilities in the home. Yeah. You know, and based on those two parts, I'm responsible 100% for everything that happens in the home. So yeah. I'm of that mental state. So, so take, for example, if our rent is due, mm. let's say, and it's like four million mm. and I don't have it. Mm. Maybe I have one million mm. and I'm like, this one million, I'm going to move to Moe. <laughs> so if you know that you, you have it to pay, pay. you're not going to pay. We are going to Moe. <laughs> So you are willing to sacrifice the luxury. Well, no, yeah, it's, we're going to have to go to Moe. But if you know that you have the money, you can sort it out now. Yeah. But you have to sort it out. So I now, when, when, <laughs> wait, wait. So when she now sorts it out, yeah. now, yeah. would you be willing to, to pay, pay back? back? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Well, okay, so, mm. so what? Mm. your eye is looking one kind. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely. I, I will, I will, Do you agree with Adams? Um, this, this is the problem I have. And I'll make a very, sim very simple statement. You don't have to ask. See, I, I don't understand why people get into relationships and be this when you can be like... Single life. See, relationship is meant to make your life easier, easier not compound it. Absolutely. We're using the same facility. We got together as one because we believe that the life choices that would make as um, you know, um, cop as a couple or as you know partners, whatever that looks like, is going to be a lot better for us, not for outsiders, and to make our lives a lot easier. If you want to be single, doing that, single, keep your money. But the very moment you've decided that, you know what? I am going to take this person, and this person has said, I'm going to be with this person, and we're going to come together. And I say this with all honesty, your problems become my problems. Mm. And as we're talking thing. about um, sacrifice and compromise being, you know, there's a thin line yes. between both of them. If she has, if your wife had the money to add that three million naira balance, yes. she should add it to pay for the four million naira apartment. Or else you move to move we'll move to what I can afford with because I'm responsible. What happens? What happens when she doesn't want to compromise on luxury and she doesn't have the three million naira? You've you you have a certain standard of living that yes. she has grown to love. Her taste has now moved up to that level, and you're about to crash her world. Again, again, I don't think I'll be in that scenario. <laughs> but <laughs> no, I don't think, I, I won't be with a woman like that. But let's assume, I'm just trying to mm. assume now. Let's say I find myself there because they say never say never. Well, never say never. never. Mm. You can ch ch change. Yeah, that's You're what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the, the reality is the way my father taught us, right? Mm. If the woman is making one billion a month, if you are making 100 naira a month, if you decide to give her five kobo every week, mm. that five kobo should never fail. Mm. It's the principles that I was brought up on. Okay. I don't really care about whatever you make. So going back to the scenario, the proper scenario now, if what I can afford would mean we move, I will get the apartment and tell you we cannot continue here. So if you don't want to move, me and now don't know. <laughs> I'm going to tell your parents though, because they're the ones I'm um, obliged to inform yeah. Yeah. that this is the situation. Mm. Your daughter is about to be homeless <laughs> if she does not come with me to move. Okay, what about you? You understand? If you wait, so if she can go back. It's okay. Wait. She doesn't want to come with me to say because of tastes. <laughs> Oh. Me no, but a lot of people can't compromise on taste. <laughs> and it's fine, no, then afford it. Then afford it. No, then afford it. No, then afford it. No, it. You cannot, you cannot, no, no, you, you can't tell me that. Sometimes you've grown to live. They're not the same so way. Lion cannot eat grass. Are you run me? Have you seen Lion in Nigeria? They still don't eat the grass. Oh, my dead grass. That's what we call the grass. Okay, if you were a lion, will you eat grass? Ah. If what comes to us, so my sister, you eat the grass. I will eat it. My name, my name, my 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 job is Caesar salad. That's I it. Hello, <laughs> small, 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 small bacon here. Yeah. You know, small flour here. Yeah. Small. Ah. Uh, this is small. How do we maintain this big? Have flour? you seen horses in Lekki here? Yeah. <laughs> What's this in Lekki? Yeah. It's fufu. Yes, now. Are you serious? Uh, line of what? Line of what? Tribe. Line of the tribe of Muri. Ah. Are there some sacrifices that you would sacrifice for a boyfriend or a husband? Would the ones for your boyfriend be different from 
the one for yes. your husband. Why? What? What? Me? Why is it of course? Uh, <laughs> I think him. for women, we usually know, don't we? Do we? Sometimes. Do we? Sometimes we do. Mm. This love that is always shocking us, but I think we know. When I choose to be with anybody, friendship, girlfriend, it's almost as though it's for life. Mm. Okay, at that point. At that point for me, you know, if we're friends. It feels like it's for life. So anything I can do for you at any level is what I'm going to do for you. It's not like, oh, you are still a girlfriend now. Mm. It means that I can only give you 2K. <laughs> when you become wife, I, I will upgrade it to fucking no. <laughs> if there's a situation that needs to be addressed right now that you're in, anything I can do to solve it, I will do it. What about you, Samuel? Since um, you are married. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I meet someone and we hit it off and I'm like, okay, I like you. She says she likes me. There's a whole lot I don't know about this person. I will not go open a joint account with her. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. I will not make life altering decisions with her. For me, so it's a journey. And even if they serve me breakfast in the marriage, there are institutions and there are structures in place that protects me based on the fact that, okay, you have to go through this process. If the girl that I'm dating decides to get up, we're not married though, and say she doesn't want it again, and carry all my sacrifices to go and that person that will sacrifice for her, I don't have any mouth anywhere. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's, that's the end, it's finished, it's over. You know, <laughs> and now, <laughs> do you understand? <laughs> oh my God. I've learned to put boundaries in place. Those boundaries, they, they are not there to stop me from sacrificing. They are there to protect my ability to lose myself. Right. There's some things I can't sacrifice. I can't sacrifice my happiness mm -hmm. for anybody. I can't sacrifice my peace of mind for anybody, literally. It's that simple. I've done it before in the past. It doesn't lead to anywhere. Yeah. So for girlfriends, yeah, there are some life altering decisions I can't take with you. Mm. The very moment we cross that path from being girlfriend or whatever we are into right. proper marriage or into proper relationships, I believe that I can, even in that, I got my joint account with my wife just beginning of this year. Do you know why? I got to a stage, me personally, I don't know about her, where I trust her with money. Mm. I trust her with money. I, like, what, like, this is me. I don't know. It might not work for every other person. I make money and I just give it to her. <laughs> and, any, and anything I want, I'm like, oh, babe, I want this. I, I want see, to buy this. I, I want to buy it. Goals, <laughs> uh, do you know? She just <laughs> buys it for me. <laughs> do you know? She just buys it for me. I, I, spoke, to my, I spoke to my dad about it. My dad being an Igbo man. <laughs> Saying, nah. <laughs> There's some money you have to put aside as a man. You have to be a man. You know, blah, 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 blah. And the reason why I did that, because like I said, there's a whole lot of things that influence our decision. I have seen my friends' marriages or people's marriages where the husband will die and everybody will be poor. You, you just will go, why are you poor? You know, you don't know why these people are poor. You're just poor. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. This was really interesting chatting with you. And what I got to learn is that sacrifice is good. You cannot cap it. Yep. So yes, uh, and it goes across board, all kinds of relationships. Thank you so much, guys. It was really interesting chatting with you, picking your brains, knowing where you stand and why you want to move to Mowe if, <laughs> if it's no longer convenient. Thank you, thank you so much. I have learned a lot. Uh, it has opened my mind a bit more to be more understanding, even though I've always been an understanding person. Uh, I'm sure some of you agree and also disagree with some of the comments and statements that our lovely guests here have made please share yours we want to hear from you we want to know what you are thinking and how your mind works when it comes to sacrifices in relationships thank you so much guys my name is bisola ayola it was fun doing this with this amazing people until next time this is real talk on ndani tv